Believe it or not, there is beauty in that trash pile on the curb. Jake Peterson introduces us to some folks around town who turn natural resources into works of art. Nothing says Florida quite like the palm tree, so why not work with it? Artists Scott Durfee and George Medeiros have found a way to use the pod of the palm tree, called the spathe, to create works of art, from jewelry to fine art to fashion. We both saw this really cool form, these things that were just hanging out on trees and on the ground. and You can manipulate them, you can create anything you choose to create with them. Of course, palm spathes are plentiful in the Sunshine State, and they pile up in the artist St. Pete studio in their raw form, just waiting to take shape. I think what's really nice about the material is that we use things that would not normally be used, found objects, uh, and try to make it all work together. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's just, I mean, why not just reuse, repurpose? So they literally take the natural raw palm tree spathe, work with it, and turn this into this. The spathe, along with bits of metal or other recycled pieces that might otherwise end up in a landfill, all come together to create something, well, kind of cool. Um, anyone that sees a palm tree spathe now recognizes and remembers us. Of course, there is a downside. There's always spathe dust somewhere. From spathe dust to sand, lots of sand in some pretty amazing shapes. The Sugar Sand Festival is happening this week on Clearwater Beach. Here's the list of what you'll find. An exhibition of sand art by master sculptors. Clinics to help you learn how to do your own sand sculpting. The circus in the park with aerial acrobats and even fireworks. The Sugar Sand Festival continues on Clearwater Beach through Sunday. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.